Well, hello there, partners. Yeehaw! Welcome to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video here at the BitBlock. Today, I am going to show you guys how to make a very bizarre Wild West themed mini game. And of course, we're going to play it very, very quickly. Uh, but before we play it, I wanted to give you guys some ideas of what my inspiration was behind this. So first of all, as you can see, we've got this cute little fenced in area with our wild broncos or our horses. Is a bronco a horse? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't, I don't know much about the Wild West. I just know that I rock the fashion incredibly well. Hey, <laughs> uh, no. Okay. So this is just mostly decoration. We've got the horses there because this minigame is themed in a way around horses. So we are out here, it is sweltering hot, we're in the desert, and we've got a bunch of narrow pathways that up to four players are gonna run down. And we're gonna be playing with two people in a, in a moment here, but uh, you can play it with up to four. And what I've done is I have designed, as I said, a bunch of narrow pathways that they're going to be running down. And there are some pitfalls that they can fall into. I didn't wanna go too crazy with the pitfalls. I think you can kinda overdo that. Now what you can do though, is you can jump over the gaps to get to the other side, but some of them, this was, I was so excited when I discovered this, by the way. If you put, if you put fencing underneath these um, pathways, you can't jump over them. See, I'm trying to jump over, but I can't jump over because there's a fence down there. And I'm pretending that's like a briar patch, you know? So you can jump over it if there's no fencing underneath it, but if there's fencing underneath it, see if I wanted to go pick that up, I can't do it. I'd have to go around and then jump here. So the, the theme of the game, which is something I probably should have said right at the beginning, is that there's a bunch of cowboys who have been misbehaving like crazy. They've been riding their wild horses out on these pathways all day long. And as horses tend to do, they've pooped everywhere. So in this instance, we're pretending the clay is actually horse poop. So you'll notice there's clay everywhere. So the theme of this game is that the sheriff is rolling back into town and he's going to flip his 10 gallon hat if he sees that all you cowpoke have been riding your horses and letting them poop everywhere. So the goal of the game is for all the players to scurry out here and pick up as much poop as possible. Yes, only at the bit block can you get mini games about picking up poop. Yes. That's the kind of quality you get here. So that's the game. I made these fun pathways. They're going to run out here. They're going to pick up the poop. They're going to try to avoid the pitfalls because they'll slow them down. Again, you don't want to put too many. And, and like I said, it is a good idea to where you... See, I could jump over there because we're missing a piece. But, you know, it's a good idea to put this stuff down here. Put, the bri put that briar patch down there so that they can't jump over. Because then that way, what you can do is do a lot of puzzles. So, for example, I've spent a lot of time, like, designing this because I wanted to make sure they couldn't just jump over things. So there are some instances where in order to get to the horse poop they have to go around and they have to kind of think a little bit so that is the game hopefully you guys are ready are you excited to watch a mini game where a bunch of cow poke pick up horse poop because i know i am and of course um because i'm recording these mini games i oftentimes try to think of where i'm gonna be so i'm just gonna run around down here but it's a fairly big maze you do need a lot of space in your island so you might have to clear stuff out oh my god there's a horse right there but yeah as you can see we are all so- oh dear. Yeah, yeah. I, I hate the animals in this island so much. The pigs especially. Well, I don't hate Sherb over there. He's good. Okay, so anyways, uh, I'm sure you guys are ready. Let's have some fun, and uh, let's check out the uh, Pooper Picker Uppers. I don't know what I'm naming this game yet. Look at the title. That's what I named it. I, uh, anyways, here we go. All right, gentlemen. Y'all gotta clean up after your disgusting beasts, all right? Oh, come on now. Petunia may don't poop that much. Come oh, you wait till you see these roads, my boy. So oh, I'm, that a fact? That a fact? It's a fact. You're going to see. All right. Oh. I'm going to watch you from down here. On your mark. Get set. Clean up that poop there. There you go. Oh, oh hell, we already got a poop. Petunia, mate, how could you? Oh, Lord, mate. <laughs> Goodness, me. Nick has gone All down right, the wrong speak, path. Speak, there there's we only go. one horse apple right here. One down there. Come on. Yeah. Oh, Petunia. oh, no, that's the fourth third in the week. Petunia, mate. Oh, another one. Nick is oh, having some trouble now, getting through this here course. Don't be, this, them, don't be doing this dirty now, Petunia, man. I'm just talking you up. Oh, you ain't a pooping horse. Come on. Oh, boy, watch out. <laughs> By the way, you can't jump over the areas that got a briar over them. You can't jump over them briars. Oh, she's been jumping them briars. I saw, oh. I saw a clear day. Oh, look at this. Let me see. Come on. Hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> what am I supposed to What am I doing? What am I supposed to Jump across the middle, maybe right there, son. Reversible. Jump across the middle. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I said jump, jump. Oh, can't. Okay, I got you now. You can't oh, go over the. Oh. Yeah. Whoa, all what right. was that? That's some fancy footsteps there. Oof. You'd be telefragging. Look at all these. Oh, watch out. Look at all this dang poop over here, boys. You know better than to let your cattle do all that. You can't jump oh, over there. He called the shit poop. <laughs> y'all y'all know what you're doing here. You almost got it all. We're going to see. There's still one up here. I see some poo-poo up there still. Oh, Nick. Nick's getting a good good amount over there. You're jumping all clear all the way over There's there. a little bit of puzzle solving in here, too, by the way, because there's certain directions y'all can't get to. Certain directions you gotta get stuff from. Looks like that old cow poke up there. There you go. All right. Oh, oh I got a cow pie right here, my <laughs> I think we got one left. Hey, wait. You gotta Look solve that. that puzzle there, Dan. You didn't get neither one of you can figure out how to get that little pooper, huh? Come on. Oh, oh there you go. Right here for. You. Oh, come on now. Oh, you got that poop. All right now. Come on. Come on back to the beginning. I think y'all got all the poop cleaned up. This looks like some yeah, beautiful Yeah, sir, you be smelling real nice. Like smells a, like, like pine a salt. Easy. All right, come on. Come on back. <laughs> Nick almost went over another pitfall. <laughs> all right, let me get up there, and we're going to see who had the most poop. Go ahead and drop it in front of your horses. Now, real, real quick, Petunia May, we need to be having a talk about <laughs> you and this rear end of yours, girl. Come now. <laughs> You're gonna embarrass me when I gotta scoop up after you, darling. All right, let's see what you got. We got over here. We got this cowpoke. Nick has. Let me count them. You guys got a lot. Let's see. So we got four in this clump, and then we got Nick has thirty-four, and y'all got eighteen. Is that hey, it? Oh my Doggy. gosh! Well, Dan, looks like you're gonna be on cleanup duty for quite some time now. Oh, with that special, special spoon you got out there. <laughs> All right, good job, boys. You did a good job of clearing out the wild, wild west. Now, if and you've been thinking that the cowpoke fun is over, y'all better think again. Because we've got one more wild west cowboy themed minigame to check out. Uh, and very quickly, just like the last one, I'm going to explain my thought process behind making it. Actually, big shout out to Dan, because Dan kind of came up with this concept with, um, we were going to use the slingshot, but I was like, oh, we should use party poppers actually instead. So this is a little set that I've made to look like an old saloon. And as you can see, we are outside, but uh, with a little bit of camera magic, we can make it look like we're indoors. And essentially, what we've got here is party poppers on each side and actually let me show you something really cool so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be the judge and i'm going to be standing behind this podium i'm going to zoom in with the camera and what you can do to make this not appear as though it's outside we can use a well that's a, we can change the filter obviously i think dramatic is a good filter but then we can change the frame to make it look like an old-fashioned western movie and we can just zoom in just enough and boom look at that Nobody would know that we're not uh, indoors and that we are outside. So anyways, uh, this is what the uh, setup is. And what, what's going to happen is they're going to grab the party poppers and Nick and Dan are going to both sit on one of these sides and I'm going to be in the middle. And when I say draw, I'm going to type it out. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me get down. They're going to jump down and then they're going to fire a party popper at the other player. So it's an old fashioned, super violent, crazy old shootout here in the Wild West. Very basic minigame, but I think it's really cute, and you can have a lot of fun. Now, sometimes I might not say draw. I might try to trick them by saying Drew or whatever, and they have to be paying close attention to not fire by accident, because that'll be a uh, negative a point to them. So, I'm going to be standing right here, looking nice and intense, and uh, we'll have a little bit of fun in this old-fashioned western shootout. Hee-haw! <laughs> Let's do it here! <laughs> it's a nice... Well, that's what I said. I better slap the donkey's ass before it runs off without ya! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, oh, what'd you say about my donkey? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that round goes to Dan. <laughs> Back in your seats, gentlemen. Come on now. Oh, we're all I'm trying. sorry, Parker. I thought you were interjecting <laughs> about my donkey story. <laughs> Get intense. I ever tell you about the time that I got the nickname Slick Seed Jimmy? <laughs> well, why don't you tell us there, Sonny Boy? I uh, will someday when you're old enough. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm a 
mistake. I thought you. <laughs> thought you just do. No, some watermelon. It wasn't. A oh, what <laughs> you did so my, my watermelon. Oh, oh, I think that yeah. was. I think that was Nick. I think that one was Nick. <laughs> oh, we gotta. Oh yeah, I, I busted that one on you. We gotta use that trademark city slicker speed slow mo replay cam for that one. <laughs> All right, what do you boys want? Y'all want me to fix you something to drink here, or what? I'll have a big old tall glass of milk. Oh! <laughs> Nick saw Dingle and he went down. I didn't. I didn't light it off though. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Oh. No misfire. They would tell you about the way. Oh boy! I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna tell you kids about the story how he got the name Dingle from for Jim. Oh boy, there he is again! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> That's another one for Nick! Dan, you got one, I think Nick has three! Yeah, you better catch up, Daniels. You what? ain't know nothing but how quick my draw is. You, uh, any of you gentlemen seen any classy ladies around here recently? Yeah, I'm talking so to one right now. in my room last night! <laughs> <laughs> It's a nice calm day here, gentlemen. No, we don't need any fighting. We don't need nothing like that. Oh, my, my nerves are soothed. I got a calm trigger finger. Ain't nothing gonna get me upset. <laughs> That's right. Why, well, you could just say, for Rabbit example. Milk. You could just shout shout out loud, for example. That that <laughs> word right there, and I wouldn't, get, <laughs> I wouldn't get wrestled up at all. I wouldn't say no nothing to anybody about that right there. <laughs> You got. I, I'll take a moonshine. You got a moonshine. <laughs> mm, that goes down real smooth every time. Oh boy! Oh, <laughs> shoot, 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 <laughs> Wait, how did you do that? You, you can pop him off the Oh, for you, sonny boy. <laughs> well, I don't think that one counts. You didn't get out of the stool. Oh, I didn't. Say, oh, I wasn't trying to shoot at my partner over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this isn't even a close match. Nick is such a quick shot. Uh, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a little early on my shots. Well, yeah, he's also getting up every time one of us breathes. <laughs> or doesn't. Oh. Well, well, that's, a that's a negligent discharge. Yeah, that's nice. that, one doesn't, that was a point for Dan. Okay. It's okay. I, th I think I can afford to lose a few. Oh, didn't get anyone with that one. Oh, you boys are getting some good reflexes, huh? Oh, there it is. Oh, oh my god. I I don't know. That one might literally be a draw. <laughs> I'm not sure. Where how are we coming on that big old glass of milk there? <laughs> You gotta. It's all in the midst of conversation. You gotta just sit there, your nerves nice and cool. Not getting too excited about no nothing. Oh! <laughs> That's Dan again. That's draw on mine. I'm, I gotta. Listen, we gotta go by what I'm seeing. Oh, I'm going on this. I'm watching this recording. This is bullshit. I'm totally getting screwed on this. Oh! Watch out, boy! Oh, I'm out of <laughs> Get him! Get him! Get him! <laughs> Alright, well, gentlemen, I don't know which one of you killed the other one more. That was getting a little mighty close at the end there, Dan. You were kind of I, making a comeback. I can see the frame by frame analysis right now. <laughs>